Hey guys, Destin Legary here, and I am continuing my Let's Play of Indigo Prophecy. The game from Quantic Dream that, yes, came out on the PlayStation 2, original Xbox, and PC. It was also called Fahrenheit pretty much everywhere else on planet Earth. Anyway, I'm going to hop right back in. Last we left off, we just entered back into the guy's apartment. And uh, we're going to hop in and uh, see what he's up to. I am playing through as the worst murderer ever, so let's see how that goes for me. <laughs> Lucas starts his day with some awkward camera controls that make it difficult to walk around his room. Got a nice cardboard box and table. Oh, there's something on it. No, I don't want to go to bed. Yeah, let's just go. I'm done. Yeah, I'm not answering that. That should help my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. Well, I think the first thing I want to do is go find some alcohol. <laughs> oh, the phone's ringing. All right. So what else we got here first? Thus spoke Zarathustra. After I telling Sally I couldn't no read, she got me heart. this book as a cruel, cruel joke. Hey, you're listening to KW oh Digital God. 5, and it's now time for the Oh God, oh God, turn off, turn off. <sighs> okay. That's enough of that. God, even this guy who hangs out in bathroom oh. stalls all day talks to more girls than I do. This Maybe morning, that's what I'm doing wrong. at 7.52 a.m. Hello, Lucas. It's Marcus. I'm calling because tomorrow is the 10th anniversary of the accident. I thought, well, maybe you might want to go... Yeah, that's nice. Anyway. Yeah, I'm sure no one will come in here looking for evidence. I'll be fine. Walking around my apartment in my underwear. It really is like real life. I can't go out looking like this. No, you can. No? Alright. Was that a Mac? You look just like one of those guys, you know, hanging out in bathroom stalls, having hallucinogenic flashbacks. Oh wait, that's serial markers. Never mind. Hmm. So I should probably cover up my bed, grab my clothes, wash them, hide anything, any tracks, like my, with my bandages, bandage up my arms. All that sounds like a lot of work. I think... What I'm going to do instead is put on some clothes. My wrists are still bloody. 
Gotta do something so what? like that. Oh, jeez. I thought I just clarified that I didn't want to do anything about that. Let's go. Are you kidding me? No, I'm stuck in the bathroom. Oh. Oh. What? Did I shouldn't have taken those pills. New York police, please open the door. Images in my head. I must be losing my mind. Do, 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 do. Now, what's we got here? No wonder this guy's kills. No wonder this guy kills people. If the demonic possession during a ritualist like seance didn't do it, this uh, three of a dead man dead man song certainly will. Oh god, make it stop. Please get me out of this apartment, I don't want to be here. I just washed your hand, oh god. Oh, man. Don't, don't make me go out of music, don't. Not during the course. Oh god. No. Get in the bathroom, get in the bathroom. Oh god. Thank you, just... Yeah, they're uh, good looking. Oh, God, no. No, I won't go away. Open the door. The police. They know. They've, they've come to arrest me. Yeah, yeah. Police, open up. Just a minute. I'm coming. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide Sorry. everything before I get the door. Are you kidding me? Sir, this is the New York police. I must insist that you open this door immediately. Uh, yeah, I was gonna let you cover up all that forensic evidence, and I'm good. Let's go open that door. If you do not open the door right now, I will be forced to knock it down. So I hide, hide this underwear from uh, the other night, wherever this is. Oh. A little more forensic evidence hidden. This is your last warning. Open the door now cool. or I knock it down. Well, Just a second. I'm looking for the keys. Is it locked?
I I'm sorry to make you wait like that. I, I was in the shower. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? That was me. I uh, couldn't turn off the radio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass, and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big <laughs> what? deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, no. Oh, listen, Get out of here. I promise you, everything's fine. Uh, do you mind if I just go ahead and look around anyway, sir? Yep, <sighs> sure do. Go ahead. What happened to your wrists, sir? I told you I had a stupid accident with some broken yeah, glass. I, was, I told you I was oh, listening to the theory before, and you, you know, the yourself, only way I can enjoy away, it is by you? causing myself massive amounts of pain so I can uh, no longer hear it. Walk around, open all the doors. Yeah, it's cool. Just, just do whatever. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Go on, Mr. Kane. I murdered somebody, but I'm only at the tense level. I'm only tense. You know, with first degree murder on my hands. See what maybe it'd be second degree? I don't know. Okay, Jesus. Put find a bandage. You know what, take the pills. Take the pills again. End it. End it now. It's not going to end well for you anyway. Wow, you really like duck. Duck soup. TV. The body of a man was discovered in the restroom of an East End. Ah, that's restaurant. enough TV. The victim was stabbed several times with a steak knife. While just yards away, other customers were calmly eating their meals. Investigators are already on the trail of a suspect who fled the scene just before the body was discovered. Police have no other comment for the time being, but stay tuned for updates into this. Hear that, Mom? I'm a suspect. I can't leave my apartment. I don't know what to do. The victim was stabbed several times with a steak <laughs> Note to self, never watch TV again. Some bandages. Bandages anywhere. Okay, fine. I'll look at the picture. My parents, Marcus, and me. Yeah, that's accident. nice.
I you'd think it'd be in the bathroom, but apparently not. Hey, a letter. This won't depress me. Massacre in East End restaurant. An especially horrible murder oh, was committed yeah. last night in the restroom of a local that restaurant. That whole murder thing. There's the bandages. Jeez, they were there the whole time. Silly murderer. That yeah, feels good, right? <laughs> you want to show, eh, Mr. Ghost? What is it with this guy and bathrooms? <laughs> Seriously. I'll give you a show, Mr. Ghost. Here you go. His underwear has a zipper. That's interesting. <laughs> where, do, where do you shop? I don't think you get those at like your local Walmart. They're custom made zipper underwears. I'm blowing this popsicle stand. See you. All right, time to oh Jesus. Hello, Luca. It's good to hear from you. I thought I'd Hi, called creepy voice. Maybe you wanted to go to mom and dad's tomb together. And to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse to get back in touch with you. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. Yeah, this seems safe. Go talk to stranger in the park. Marcus and I were kids. We were inseparable. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still the only person I really trust. The only one who might believe that I had nothing to do with all this mess. Ah, park with plenty of, you know, children and people to hang around with when you're being demonically possessed and being forced to murder people. Good call. I can't leave now. I gotta speak to Marcus. Oh man. Marcus. Maybe Marcus is over here. Nope, but that bonus XX is cha-ching. Marcus? Hello. Well. I mean, really? Oh, maybe it's this guy in the trench coat. I see you. I miss obviously you. the guy I'm supposed to be it's talking been a while. to. Two years. So tell me what's happened, Lucas. I've killed a man, Marcus. 
Oh, that's a good way to break the ice after two years. Like I was yeah. Possessed. Yeah, I just murdered someone. Oh, well, I'm a priest. Um, I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. My God, I can't believe this, Lucas. Tell me that it wasn't you. You're not capable of something like that. You went to this restaurant alone? Yeah, Tiffany and I, we broke up about a month ago. I try to get out of the apartment as much as possible. It's just so empty there without her, you know. All I have is my music. My awful, awful music. Please end it, seriously. This too. You cut your wrists? <laughs> yeah, murder, do you listen to the theory of a dead man? On my arms with a knife. I don't know if they mean anything. You say that you were in a sort of a trance. But what do you mean by that? Are you talking about magic? Or sorcery? Or something like that? Marcus, I don't have any. Yeah, explanation. magic and sorcery, I'm just of course. You what happened, that's all. I'm only certain about one thing. I'm not the one who really killed that man. Who else have you told all of this to? No one. You're the only person that I can trust. There's something else I, you need I don't to know why you trust them. I know this sounds crazy, but. After the murder, I, I had these premonitions, like I was seeing things that hadn't happened yet. I have this While vision I was doing this that I'm going to stop playing thing, this game soon. I saw something, or, or rather someone. Then I, don't worry, I'll finish it. No, it was, it was like a sort of vision. I saw a man in the middle of hundreds of candles, and, and there was this little girl. What happened to me, Marcus? What am I supposed to do now? Little you girl, eh? Anyone, Marcus, help me. Listen, maybe Lucas, she did I, it. I'm a bit lost here. This whole story is just so bizarre. Maybe you need some professional help. Most cases of possession are known to actually stem from psychiatric problems, and Marcus, I don't have a psychiatric problem. I'm not crazy. I am a priest. Lucas. They're not that bad. The theory of a dead man is an is a excellent music matter. group. I told you that it wasn't me, Marcus. I also All may these be years and nothing's changed. You still never listen to me. Lucas, don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. I'm not a murderer, Marcus. You're the only person I can trust. I'm just asking you to believe me. Very well. I'll do whatever I can for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. Look, I, I need to get some answers. I'll, I'll call you. Here. You need this more than I do. Marcus, you know that yeah, I don't okay. believe in all that. Thanks. Lives plus one? Thanks, Jesus! You know, thanks for dying a horrible, terrible death on the cross. High five. That kid, he's going to slip on the ice. I've got to stop him. The cop in the restaurant. If I don't do something, the child will die. If I do do something, the cop will recognize me. What am I going to do? <laughs> it sure is a tough decision. So many options. Choice. This world. Oh, hey, there's the cops. Hey, guys, a little kid drowned in there. I know who you are. Don't move. Thus my story ends, because by the stupidest of chances, I happen to run into the cop from the restaurant. Let's, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> I guess I'll help the kid. Wait, so they arrested me? Hold up. So before when I failed, they arrested me... Instead of saving the kid that just there broke through the ice He's in front of their faces. Quick, I've got to go back up before priorities, guys. Seriously. 
Yeah, this guy's clearly unarmed and trying to help that kid, but uh, we better pull a gun on him. Oh, L and R's again. All right. Dump more L and R's. Jeez. It's like I'm really there. If I was really there, <laughs> I would have drowned in there with that kid. I am not in good shape. Trust me. I guess I'll, One, you know. Two, three. I can't even murder this little kid, right? Worst murderer ever. You had a radio the whole time. You had a radio the entire time that little kid was drowning. Dove into freezing water to save the kid. The kid never would have made it out of there without him. The cop recognized me. We both knew it. Wait a minute. How did he recognize you exactly? Because in my he game, I ran easy. out of there and didn't I talk to anybody. Life, given one back. So... Nothing really changed when yeah. I was still wanted for murder by the police. But when I left that park, I knew I could look myself in the mirror again without cringing. Well, good for you, buddy. I've got this really bad habit for a cop. Once I start working on a case, I can't think about anything else. I'm exhausted. I haven't gotten a wink of sleep all night. Something's bothering me about this murder, but I just can't seem to put my finger on what it is. And, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna stop there for the day. You know, I saved a kid. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Uh, you know. Anyway, for more, uh... On Indigo Prophecy, also known as Fahrenheit Everywhere Else on the Planet Earth, be sure to keep it locked on IGN.com.